It's friggin' mess in here, dudes. It's, uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been, uh, a couple months. I don't know, maybe a month. I, I really don't know. I really don't know when the last time I made a video was. You can look, you can see for yourself. Just to see how long it's been. It's been a while. Uh, the last video I did was the duck box. And, uh... That was, of course, the uh, stuff that I bought from Ducky Do Gaming uh, on my vacation uh, to San Antonio. And this video is uh, just kind of a cumulative uh, pickups uh, since then. Um, it's it's a pickups video, but it's uh, very I don't, I don't want to say unexciting because there's some really exciting stuff uh, that I want I can't wait to show you, but it's uh, it's mostly just stuff that I was uh, just given, uh, just random things here and there. I personally um, only picked up one thing, and it was a digital uh, digital game, and we'll get to that in just a little bit. Um, okay, take it back. I did buy Punisher on VHS. Um, I don't think I've seen this, actually. Is this the John Travolta one? I don't know. Nope. I don't think I've seen this one. I don't know if it's any good. It's the Punisher, Judge, Jury, Executioner, Dolph Lundgren, and L Louis Gossett Jr., whoever that is. Um, yeah, haven't seen that. But I figured I would snag it because I'm a sucker for some, some VHS. And uh, that was the only movie... Um, here several weeks ago, I did go, um, and meet up with a good friend, uh, Chad Bailey. Uh, we met up in, uh, a city that's kind of between us. Um, he lives about, uh, three hours north of me. And, uh, so we kind of met in the middle of a town, kind of halfway between us. And, uh, cause I had a box of stuff that I got from Ducky Do Gaming, uh, for him, so I delivered the, the box of stuff, and uh, Chad was uh, gracious enough to hook me up with some really cool stuff um, that he had. This was all just extra stuff that he didn't really want or need, uh, so he just, just gave it to me. Uh, he had kind of talked about a couple of things in his videos as being duplicates, and I expressed interest, and um, he was very gracious to just give me the stuff. I certainly didn't expect him to, but uh, that's just the kind of dude that Chad is. If you know Chad, uh, you you know that already. Chad is just uh, a really awesome dude. Uh, so he did hook me up with uh, several games and a couple of bombshells here. First of all, is this beauty right here. This is a game that uh, I think came in like a lot that he bought. Um, that rhymed. A lot that he got, so sort of that, wow, on eBay or something like that, or locally, I don't know. Um, and he didn't know what game it was, so he just, you know, whatever. And he checked it out, and this is actually a Yu-Gi-Oh! game. I don't know if he had it already, or if he just didn't want it, because I, I know he's a pretty big uh, Game Boy Advance uh, collector, so I don't know if he just didn't want it, just because it didn't have a label on it. But I said, yeah, okay, we'll give it a shot, because uh, I've been wanting to try some of the Yu-Gi-Oh! games anyway. And, uh, I don't care if it has a label on it or not. Uh, so, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! And, uh, several more Game Boy Advance games here. He actually, like, doubled my Game Boy Advance collection. Um, Battlefield Risk and Clue. I actually haven't tried this one yet, but I do love Battleship. So, I actually, now that I'm reminding myself of that, uh, it being in my collection, I will go and try that. Next one is uh, Top Gear Rally. I've been kind of into some racing games lately, and uh, he knew that, and he had a duplicate of Top Gear Rally. So, hook me up. And then, also, save the, the, those two bombshells for last. Um, he had these two games that he showed off in a video as being extras in his collection as well. One of them being Sonic Sega All-Stars Racing on the DS. Um, 
I didn't actually expect this to be complete, but that's really awesome um, that it is complete. And uh, I've just been obsessed with uh, kart racers as, as of late, primarily uh, the Mario Kart games, of course. Um, but I did want to try the uh, Sonic uh, ones as well. So here is the first one. Uh, I still haven't got uh, All-Star Racing Transformed yet, uh, but I have played a demo of that, and I know that it is awesome. Here's a game that um, he had that I was very excited to um, take off of his hands because it's one an NES game that I've been looking for uh, for a while. It's not necessarily I don't think it's rare or I know it's I know it's not expensive. I just never see it. Um, but I'm a big fan of the series, and that is Dig Dug Two. I think it's got Trouble in Paradise. Yeah. Uh, this is awesome. I love the Dig Dug and the Mr. Driller games, and uh, this was a very cool uh, NES game to add to my collection. Um, it's a, it's quite a bit different than uh, than, than original um, Dig Dug, if you're familiar with Dig Dug. Uh, Dig Dug takes place kind of like a side view uh, where um, Hori Taizo, that guy, digs straight down and you know goes left and right. This one is actually like a top view. Uh, where you're looking over top of the land, and he's using his uh, his drilling or like a jackhammer type ability to like uh, cleave the land and make certain parts of the land fall into the water, uh, thus um, killing the monsters. So it's a it's a little bit different take on the dig dug gameplay, uh, but you still have your little air pump to uh, blow up the monsters as well. Uh, so yeah. Check out Dig Dug 2 if uh, you're a fan of Dig Dug, because I dig it. Didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> These last two are probably the most generous gifts, um, just because of, of what they are. Um, but, again, uh, certain people, uh, you know, most collectors um, don't, don't necessarily go after... Um, these type of games because you know mo most most collectors are, are stickler for condition and I understand uh, but for me um, in a lot of cases not all cases um, I'm more just excited to have own the game um, than to um, have a pristine copy as long as it works and uh, in the in the case of these two is saves um, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it. So first up is another Game Boy Advance game without a label, and this one is actually Harvest Moon: Friends of Mineral Town, which is super awesome. Uh, the Harvest Moon games are not uh, cheap, and uh, this one just doesn't have a label, but it's perfect shape. Like otherwise, I mean the cart's got no damage on it other than no label, um, and it works perfectly. It saves and it's really really awesome to have because I love the Harvest Moon and Room Factory games and so I'm really happy to have that and uh, also a nice pink uh, Game Boy case which is cool and this last one is by far the best in my opinion and uh, of course the most generous gift um, from Chad again no label and looks just like a standard Game Boy game but if I tilt it towards the light a little bit maybe you can see the the shine on that game, not sure if you can see the shine or not, but that is a copy of Pokemon Silver uh, for the Game Boy. And of course, uh, because there is no label, um, the value of this um, has gone down a lot uh, in the eyes of a collector, but in my eyes, uh, this is a perfect game, and uh, it's it's very welcome in my collection. I am been playing this game since I got it, kind of, you know, just off and on, uh, haven't had a lot of time, uh, but I've got about 15, 16 hours into this game, and I've got all of the first eight badges, beat the Elite Four, and I'm actually collecting the Kanto badges right now, so actually predict that uh, perhaps this weekend, um, today is Thursday, uh, this game will uh, finally be beaten, and this will be the first time that I've ever beaten Silver Version. I've beaten Gold several times, uh, but I've never beaten Silver, so this was nice to get. It was nice to uh, catch uh, Lugia for the first time. Uh, that was that was exciting. I know Pokemon nerd stuff. I know, but uh, yeah, definitely um, a cool thing to experience. Uh, did a little bit of a trade, not a huge trade. Um, I was actually selling some games, and a gentleman and a good friend um, in Nerdtopia on Facebook. 
um, bought a game from me, and uh, we had also talked in the past about doing a trade because he had a duplicate of an NES game that I desperately needed, and I had a game that he was looking for, so we did a cart for cart trade on that. And Brandon, 8 bit leprechaun, you, my friend, are an ace. Thank you very much uh, for this trade. I know that this game is not on anybody's radar as being sought after or important. Um, but this game is of utmost importance to me uh, because it just so happens to be my favorite NES game of all time, and that is, of course, Wizards and Warriors. Now, I know what you're thinking. You already have this game, right? Kind of. Um, I, I might have mentioned this in a video. I think I mentioned it in the last video. I did buy my dad a uh, Retron 1 system uh, because my NES is actually his NES but he didn't necessarily want the system back but did want to play the games from time to time so uh, anybody wanted new hardware they didn't have to worry about you know being finicky and all that so I said okay this is a perfect opportunity because a Retron 1 system from Hyperkin is like 15 bucks on Amazon so I bought a brand new one from Amazon 15 bucks took it to his house took him a stack of games all of which that belonged to him in the first place and um, I let him keep them, and I just committed to uh, replacing them in my collection. Some of which are uh, were more important that I replace more quickly, and others which weren't as quite as important. Um, and Wizards and Warriors is one that I, I desperately needed to replace in my collection, and uh, I am very thankful that Brandon sent this to me, and uh, he left me a nice note, said, thanks Chance for this awesome opportunity, hope you enjoy the hell out of Wizards and Warriors. 8-Bit Leprechaun. So, once again, Brandon, thank you very much for the trade. You have no idea how much it really means to me. I like the note, too. It's a nice little little heart on the uh, the dust cover that you sent, too. So that's really cool, too, because you did actually send the dust cover, too. So, double thank you. Alright, now the last pickup, uh, besides the digital one, which I'll go ahead and get out of the way. Um, yes, I did go ahead and get Earthbound Beginnings on the Wii U. I'm not necessarily an Earthbound fan. Um, I've said this in the past um, because I, I have tried the game on emulation and I know that I'm not the, the, the hugest uh, of fans but I will admit um, that I gave it you know the smallest of opportunities um, to wow me. Uh, I didn't play it for very long and uh, so in that way uh, you know my my opinion is is kind of skewed. Uh, it's, a, it's a little unfair, um, but you know I just didn't. I don't see the hubbub, but that's fine. Um, they announced, of course, Earthbound Beginnings uh, coming to the eShop instantaneously at E3, which was nice. And so I said, you know what the hell? You know I'll start at the beginning. Uh, I certainly don't mind having uh, an extra RPG on the on the Wii U. That I can play on the gamepad while laying in bed. I certainly don't mind that. Because um, I did move the Wii U downstairs. So I could do just that. Uh, with other games too. Um, but yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into it. Uh, we'll see what happens. And if I love it. Um, Earthbound. Or Mother 2. Is right there. On the Wii, Wii U eShop. So I have access to it. And I can play it uh, straight away. If I want. Also picked up, uh, Ducky actually uh, gifted me uh, the Nintendo Indie Humble Bundle uh, a few weeks back. I didn't I didn't ask for it, but he kind of I had noticed it on Humble Bundle, and he noticed it, and he sent me a message and said, "Hey, did you see this, bro?" And I said, "Yeah, you know, probably gonna pass on it because I I uh, I don't have the funds right now, so it's not a big deal." Uh, but then I get an email with uh, a confirmation saying that I was gifted. Uh, the Humble Bundle, which is really awesome. So, of course, uh, thank you to Ducky for uh, doing that. I certainly didn't have to and uh, certainly didn't ask for it, but uh, that's what friends do, I guess. Um, so I got all those games. Uh, I don't remember all of them from the top of my head. I know uh, Bit Trip Runner 2 is on there on the Wii U because I played that one quite a bit. Uh, SteamWorld Dig, I think, is on there. Um, Gunman Clive may be on there. Um... There's there's lots of them. You can check out my backloggery page. Uh, they're all on there that I that I've downloaded thus far, um, both on the 3DS and the Wii U. So it's it's a really it was a really awesome collection uh, to have, and it's uh, it's great that I have them now. 
All right, finally, the um, cream of the crop here. This this is uh, by far the coolest uh, thing that I one of the coolest things I've been gifted uh, ever. Just because it's uh, so unique and so me. Um, uh, a good friend, a now good friend that we we haven't talked, you know, a lot. We certainly haven't, you know, talked on a real personal level, so I mean, I, but I consider him a friend anyway. Uh, we're friends on Facebook, and we met through the Nertopia group, which I, I reference from time to time. A fellow Doom fan, a uh, fellow Doom collector, uh, we've talked a little bit about uh, the different Doom games that we're looking for and things like that, and he said he would keep his eye out for some things to add to my collection. I kind of told him, you know, what's left uh, for me to look for, because there's not not a whole lot, which is a good thing and a bad thing, because I love collecting Doom stuff. Um, but there's not a whole lot I'm looking for still, mainly just the, the big box PC games is really all I'm looking for, and uh, Doom 2 on the Game Boy Advance. Um, it's really, really all I'm looking for. And, uh, so the other day, uh, once again, I had to sell sell, sell some things, and uh, he did make a purchase from me. And he said, "Oh, hey, what's your address too? Because I have I have something to send you." I was like, "Okay." So, I sent him my address, you know, and I I sent him uh, the things that he bought, and uh, I got this in the mail. And I I assumed, of course, that it was uh, Doom related. And he and he kind of mentioned, you know, his Doom Doom swag, and I said, "Okay, I'm I'm good with that." Of course, I'm good with that. Doom stuff. All right. And uh, then I open up the box here just yesterday, I guess. And if you're uh, on Nerdtopia or if you were uh, friends with me on or follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. Um, the dude hooked it up with some really cool stuff. Um, first of which is the Doom novels. Um, I knew of these these existed, um, and I've seen them from time to time, like online, but I've never seen them in person. And I've got all four of them now. We've got Knee Deep in the Dead, with of course the iconic uh, Doom One cover, which is very cool. Uh, Hell on Earth, second book. Infernal Sky, which is the third book, and End Game. So. Very cool, very cool conversation pieces at the very least. At the very least, Doom uh, novels. I can't wait to read them. I'm not a very fast reader, so it'll probably take me forever uh, to get through them. But if that wasn't enough, uh, this is probably like one of the coolest things ever. Um, <laughs> I knew of these these things' existence as well. Uh, never thought that I would actually get them though. Um, he hooked me up with some doom plushies and i'm not a real i'm not a plushy collector um for the most part i think uh they're kind of silly uh but at the same time it's like if you want them you want them and if they're cool enough why not so uh i think these besides my my chuck brown charlie brown over in the corner i think these represent uh the first plushies in my collection first and only so far uh, we have of course yes a friggin cacodemon plushie and we have the the pain elemental. These things are nasty, nasty, nasty in Doom Two. They uh, they spit lost souls at you. These things are crazy. And then of course, Doom Guy. This is one of the coolest things. He's big too. He's probably I don't know nine or ten inches tall, holding the plasma rifle. Yes, I know which gun he's holding. <laughs> Doom guy with the plasma rifle, plushy doll. There you go. Even the bags are cool. The, even the the bags that the plushies came in have the Doom logo on them, which is cool. So I'm gonna be keeping all of the bags, of course, um, folding them up and sticking them in a drawer somewhere. Um, I think that is it uh, for the pickups. Like I said, uh, the only thing that I personally picked up for myself uh, was. Um, the Punisher VHS and uh, the Earthbound Beginnings on the eShop. And I guess you can consider uh, the trade I did with 8-Bit Leprechaun a, a pickup. Yeah, because, you know, I did send him something as payment for something that he sent me. Uh, so I guess that's kind of a, a pickup, but not really. The rest of it was, was all gifts. So big thank you to Joey 
uh, from Neurotopia. Big thank you to Chad and Ducky and Brandon and everybody else in my life. Thank you uh, for being my friend and or family. Blah, blah, blah. Sop story. Whatever. Um, that's about it. Uh, hopefully I'm going to come back and do some more videos. I don't know. I haven't beaten hardly any games. Seriously, uh, my third, second quarter review is going to be dumb. I beat one game. So stick around if you want to at least hear me talk about other things that I've been playing. Uh, but we'll get to that here probably soon. Today's the 20, 25th. So I really got to get a new phone. Bye, folks. Doom Waves out.